run by dedicated, passionate people, very often volunteers. These events all add to the cultural and social scene within our vibrant market town. The numbers of people attending these events is testament to their success. So this time we're going to ask you, the audience, to decide upon the winner of the event of the year. The judges have come up with a shortlist and invite you to cast your vote. But not until you've heard from our sponsor, Nelly Hall, from Alitex, who will guide you through the shortlisted options. Nelly. We have great empathy for all the nominations for the event of the year. At Alitex, we have a stand at Chelsea Flower Show every year. An event is all-consuming, and we seem to spend six months meticulously planning every detail, then to spend the following six months working out what we'll do better next time. There were lots of nominations for this award, but it had to be whittled down to three extremely worthy finalists. As Gareth said, it's down to you to vote for this winner. So pay attention. You may not have experienced these events, and they're all worth a listen. Think of it as a bit of practice for another vote you're going to make in a few weeks' time. So the first event is Petersfield Town Juniors 30th Anniversary Six-A-Side Tournament. In 2009, the Petersfield Town Juniors held their Six-A-Side Tournament, attracting over 6,500 people to Penn's Farm to watch 700 games played out by 250 teams aged from 8 to 16 years of age. To commemorate the 30th anniversary, they researched the event from its humble beginnings when it was eight teams on two pitches, which seems far more manageable, to what it's become today. The results of that research were portrayed on a storyboard displayed on the day tracking its history using old newspaper cuttings and photographs. Many of the parents of the players last year found themselves and their friends on the board and relived their own experiences from times gone by. This was a huge feat of organisation to create a very memorable tournament. The second event is Railway 150. This was blessed with a beautiful Easter Monday last year and this unique event celebrated the 150th year since the opening of the railway at Petersfield. The theme for the day was Victorian and all the local schools in the area took part in competitions, with young and old dressing up for the activities. Over 3,000 people packed Petersfield Station to see the first steam-hauled train to stop there for over 40 years, and a plaque was unveiled at the station to commemorate this moment. This was followed with a procession to the square of two traction engines, veteran cars, and Victorian bicycles for a full day's programme of events. With an estimated 10,000 people in Petersfield that day, 5,000 free booklets issued, and a commemorative DVD, it marked a very successful and historic day. The final event is the Petersfield Rugby Football Club's Gun Run. Last August bank holiday weekend, the Petersfield festivities played host to a very special fundraising event along the high street. Initially conceived as a fresh idea for pre-season training, Petersfield's director of rugby, Steve Penther Pembethy, sorry, Steve, took inspiration from the Brickwood Trophy Gun Run competition to stage a team challenge and a unique fundraiser for Help for Heroes. A field gun run is often regarded as the toughest team sport in the world and requires courage, determination, teamwork and skill. The club put in an intensive week of training, running with the gun at HMS Excellent in Portsmouth, before the real thing at the festivities, which was the first time a gun has been run by civilians outside a naval base. The gun, kindly lent by HMS Nelson, weighing in at a whopping one ton, was pulled by 18 players, ranging from under-16s, Colts, first 15 players and vets, along a 100-metre run down the high street, in front of an audience of about 1,000 people squeezed down the high street. The end result of all that exertion was to raise a fantastic £3,000 for Help for Heroes and create a very memorable occasion. So we'd like to congratulate all the finalists and urge you to...
cast your vote and wish them all the best of luck. Thank you.